going to the flash drive. We're going to open MU Gear Coffee in Corel Draw. So the logo is all set, uh, so we can print right away. So file, print, and we're going to choose Epilog Engraver Crossover and change the preferences by clicking on the preferences button. Under preferences we choose raster. We change the speed to 30 and the power to 100. We also want to plug in the size of the page here and we get that information from the actual file here. thing we want to do is click autofocus and then OK. So right now the printer is set up for flat work and we want it set up for a rotary attachment. So we need to open the printer using the handle here. Right. To remove the flat table, we lift the rulers up, there's a little tab, and you just push down. And we do that to all three sides. Now that the guidelines are up, we can lift this up and out. Maybe. And it just goes off. Once we've removed the flat surface, we want to pull the two supports off and set them off to the side here. And then under the printer is the rotary attachment, and that's what we want to use for the mugs. Okay. Make sure that the attachment has a clamp. On the bottom, there's two pegs that we want to line up with the printer surface. We're going to plug the attachment into the port, and then we need to test to see if the attachment is level. So you take an unetched mug, place it in the clamp, and then in the drawer, in either the first or second drawer, we're going to look for a red level. Place it on top of the mug to check to see if it's level, and this one is not. So to adjust this, we need to unlock the attachment here by flipping the lever toward us. And then we rotate the black knob until the bubble is in the middle. Okay. Once we have it level, we flip the switch again and lock the attachment. With our attachment set up, we can close the printer and turn it on using the power button on the side here. You want to check for a, a buzzing noise and a beep and that indicates that the printer is on. Okay. Now the laser is lined up with our rotary attachment and if we hit pointer here, a little red light will show up where the laser is aligned.
with the attachment in and the machine on, we can now send our file. Check the printer name, make sure it's the engraver. Check your preferences. We want raster, speed of a 30, power of 100, auto focus, and we want the piece size to represent the page size of the Corel Draw file. If those are correct, then you hit OK and print, and the file is sent to the printer. You want to check to make sure that it's the MU gear copy that indicates the file was sent to the printer. Now we have our file in the printer. And now the mug can get set up inside. So we're going to open the glass top here. We want the handle to be facing closest to us. We lift the clamp up, slide the mug in so the rim is all the way to the edge, and rotate the mug so that the handle touches the wheels. With the mug in place, we close the top and hit enter, the green button, to start the laser. beeps uh, on the LCD screen it will be done All right, it should take about two minutes and 30 seconds to fully etch the logo okay. to remove the mug we lift the glass top again reach in lift the clamp and slide the mug out Ta -da! <laughs>